Hello everyone and welcome to the new video on the channel. Today we're going to look at the new horror game released this season and I'm going to tell you that it is really very scary. This game inspired by PT as you all already probably have seen on the screen and I'm talking about the game called Medicine. A very interesting game and believe me it will be really fun and strange and horrorly to watch this video. But before that, I would like to ask you if you're subscribed to our channel, push the notification bell. Because sometimes we miss some of our views from you. Press the like on the video and comment which next game you would like us to review. So let's start. Number of games has been inspired by PT. Effectively means that Hideo Kojima's playable teaser created a new subgenre in a horror realm. And it's actually true. So many games have been released during that time, but we're not gonna mention all of them in this video, except for one, the new one, called Medicine. These games are all first-person nightmares with the small open spaces and they always require you to solve a best load of head-scratching puzzles, while paranormal activity toys with your sanity. Medicine doesn't quite reach the unbearable tension and dread that made the Kojimas deep into Silent Hill so beloved, but it's still a fun haunted house ride and is a perfect for this year's Halloween. Medicine narrative isn't particularly new and it suffers from annoying protagonists, but it's an interesting discussion concerning the demons and possessions. The family and the medicine's history is disturbing and it's mostly expressed wonderfully through the tape recordings and visuals. While the main story focuses on the protagonist Luca as they try to escape the house and work out what happened to them, their family, there is another narrative arc building around below the surface. The secondary narrative focuses on the lore of the medicine, is a serial killer and an underworld entity. As the game involved, you would become to the expect of the better stories the writers of Medicine have delivered. There is almost a folklore-like respect for the mythology for the universe of which the events the game taken place. The mythology of the universe and that kind of, let's say, creepily creepily stuff that goes around the house. The mozerans of, of the entirety and outline has made sense, which adds to the validity and the fear that is desirable for the perfect player's experience that you could get. It is really terrifying sometimes when you're walking through the corridors of the game. The story takes you to the different moments in time, as you explore way more than just a house of explodity sharing guns proper to your horror staple such as graveyard, morgue and a church. Most of the time spent in the house, but adventures will be really very unsettling locations provided to the much needed charges in the scenery. In addition, provided a fresh coat of painting in changes of the location come with their own little sub-story style with the bigger narrative. A child's playroom comes with the mobility drawn playbook showing the origins of the blue knees areas where the morgues tell you the gruesome details of medicine murders and the disgusting state of her victims. It conjures how horrendously horrendous of the grotesque, imaginary, and the force to the listen. As for the gameplay, it is a PT-inspired horror that comes close to what you would expect. You mostly walk through the linear and open spaces, completing puzzles, and then open a mercenary game that is open nothing like a prevent older horror jump scares. There is also a couple of enemies when unhit kills that you can defend yourself with an exceptionally singular instance. The game runs smoothly through its 5 hour duration, and there will never be any noticeable of technical issues. The biggest problem with the gameplay is that there were too many instances where the photo needed to be taken several times for the desired effect to be triggered, as the first person game immerse was also broken with a few incentives where the game proposes to look down, only to reveal the protagonist is nothing more than a floating head in a bloody hand. You can't even walk about talk about medicines without bringing the biggest gameplay mechanic, the Polaroid camera. The device is your play mirror means interacting with the environment. It's not just solving puzzles as it can be used for eliminating the dark. It's extremely unsettling to use as the means of the lightning through the way. I was constantly in a state of the fear that flesh would reveal was briefly frames I could see. There is dozens of fun puzzles that would never be ridiculously obstacle or illogical. There is also enough instances of the parable dread that also glowed jump scares are effectively and forgivingly sporadic. The story is a whole original, but it's interesting enough for anyone who has something like, let's say, fondness to tale of the demons and possessions. It's protagonist and unbelievable with the horribly whitening voice. They kept an obvious statement, but fortunately, this is more than it. To sum it up, I would say this is a cool and maybe not that close to the PT, 
but an interesting horror game you actually can play and try to play if you're excited and missed kind of horror games because we haven't had really a lot of cool and really scary horror games in a while so Madison could be a really interesting something you could play now. Since it is on the sale now I would all suggest you guys to try it and play it more. So see you in the next video and tell us if you played Madison did you like it what do you like about it and whatever is going on in your head right now about this game or maybe other games you want to review to us. See you in the next video. Bye.